everyone, it's Adele and April from Just Say Scrap, close to my heart, and we are here with Technique Tuesday. So today we have a really fun and exciting thing to share with you. It's called Share the Joy. It is a brand new campaign that Close to My Heart just came out with, and it makes amazing projects. So, ready to show? Yes, I am. Here we go. All right, so today we are doing our Share the Joy bundle that we have here. We actually just got this in today, so we were very lucky on timing. So what we have here is this special is going on till July 31st and this bundle consists of two stamps and two thin cuts. So look how cute these stamps are. Have so much going on there. And then we've got our two thin cuts here. Isn't that awesome? So you've got a banner and then you've got a card layout for here. We will show you exactly what we mean by these. Some of the cards and layouts that we've seen people use are super adorable and I'm actually excited, really excited for our Throw Together Thursday because this whole set along with our twirled paper and our 3x3 three three cards is going to look really, really cute. Um, I've seen people use this on the normal size cards, the four and a quarter by five and a half cards, but I've also seen a few three by three cards. So I'm really excited to show you how we're gonna use that. But for today, we're just gonna make, or we're just gonna show you how exactly it is used. Right, mom? Yes. All right, so let us get started. So what I just showed you was the bundle that we bought. This whole thing comes in a bundle, but you can buy them all separately. However, when you get the bundle, you do get a 30% discount. Right. So. And you also, if you don't want, if, if you just wanted the stamps, you could get a 20% discount on the stamp bundle. So, just some fun, fun things. But once we show you how they all work together, I guarantee you're going to want the bundle. It's so cute. So, we're just going to show you today, though, a little bit about how to use them in different sizes, different ways. Um show you that they're not also just for cards. No, definitely They can be not. used for layouts as well. <laughs> Man, it doesn't like me. I'm ripping it open. We also have our new, we have a new organization system that we started a little while ago. So we'll show you that at some point too, but I don't need my covers anymore. <laughs> but this is the multi-circle window. So what I'm gonna do is I have our, our 12 by 12 paper organizer here with my Carolina in it. And I'm gonna take my cutter and I gotta cut it down. So this is a four by, four by five and a half basically. So I'm just gonna cut this to four and a quarter inch strip. I always find it's a little bit easier if you go slightly bigger than what your thin cut is. And then, are you ready to see what this looks like? Dun, 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 dun. And look, you also get all these cute little circles. How awesome is that? So you could actually use the whichever side you're using, the dark side, you could put the lighter circles inside. Yes, you can. So what you mean by that is... Doo -doo -doo. Come on. So if I have this on a piece of paper, so I got my white daisy here. Move my circle to the side. So let's say you're making this a layout, right? So I've got this. I have my five by seven picture here. Well, that doesn't work on white daisy. Hold on, getting a different color. Got my ballerina here. I've got my five by seven photo. And then I have this as an overlay on the bottom. You can see that there are some pieces of the ballerina sticking through, but if you use the opposite of the Carolina that we actually just cut out, look how awesome that looks. You could use this as like a Connect Four board. <laughs> Sorry, it's just what made me think of. You can also do opposites. So you can have some the same color, but you can see the text of it being cut out too. So isn't that cool how you can like fill it in? And also let's say we cut with either the ballerina or I have pixie out as well. You can then mix and match the colors that are inside here. You could also use it 
just as a cutout and mm -hmm. not only a solid color, but you could use a patterned color background. Yes. I happen to have some extra Sweet Girl here just to show you what that would look like. You could have a pattern underneath it as well. So all really cool things that you can do with this cutout. But also, let's show some of these little stamps. Oh, the stamps are adorable. So I've got my Versa mat here. I'm gonna throw this to the side. And I've got a bunch of one by one blocks because these are very tiny stamps, but that's totally okay. So let's say we were going to be making a birthday card because you know, that's what we're gonna end up doing anyway in the end, right? <laughs> At least that's one of our third together Thursdays will be a birthday card. Maybe we'll do a card and a layout to show you the two different ways that you mm -hmm. can use this. Oh, well, obviously we have to make a three by three card. <laughs> okay, so, ooh, brand new stamp. Smells brand new. But I'm going to take a bunch of these tiny ones. So sometimes if it doesn't fit perfectly on there, just actually angle your stamp and you'll get it on the angle to fit. It's a little off. The balloons are a little bit big, so let me grab a two by two for the balloons. And then, ah. and what's great about this thin cut and the stamps is that some of the words are actually separated into individual letters. So like the happy on here is all individual letters. So you could have put them in mm -hmm. to the circles. Yes. And also when you're thinking about this, think about it in the way that you want your card to go. So let's say, let's say my card was vertical. I'm gonna set up my little dots as if I'm putting them into their spots again, but I'm putting them like this. So this is how my card is going to look when I actually have it done. So I wanna make sure that I'm looking at it the way it's going to be. All right, so we've got Bluebird and Carolina here. We have Carolina paper, so I wanted to show you some tone on tone, but I also wanted to show you what Mama was talking about here. So I'm also gonna grab out one of my bigger blocks. I've got my three by three here. I'll show you why I brought that out in a second. But we're gonna do some tone on tone first. So remember to season your stamps because they're new. And let's say this is how your layout is gonna be on your card. So that matches up. So I'm gonna take first, I'm gonna take my birthday cake. I'm gonna throw it on there, very light, but it looks really cool. And also why I showed you that I brought this here is sometimes when I don't have enough blocks, I'll throw them onto a bigger block to clean them all together. That way I can continue to use my tiny blocks without having to clean them every single time. I mean, this obviously is not set in stone, so you can move these around as much as you want. And it's actually nice to have this visual effect when you're doing everything. And now, what Mama was talking about was they have the stamps that are separated, the words. So I'm going to pull off the happy here. I only have to use one P for what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm just going to say that. I'm doing this also very, very quickly. So obviously if I was sitting here and doing it more, I'd make sure that they were completely centered. It's kind of cool how they're a little off. So look, it could say happy birthday. You could have it like this. You could still read that it says happy. Mm -hmm. You could even have it all scattered up. Make it a little crazy. <laughs> like that. That's kind of cool. It's cute. Happy. <laughs> but just showing, you know, you can play with it a little bit. So, I was actually going to do those in Bluebird. So here, actually, we're going to go back over them. Just to show you the different color. And also, this gives it a little bit of a, um, what is that called? Shadow effect. Yes. And you could see how easily April is going over the letters because of the clear acrylic stamps. Yep. And I'm even doing this fast and I'm still hitting them on. So just to show you different tones too, like the Carolinas, it's the same color, but I do have it on the darker side. I have the lighter side, excuse me. So yes. I have the ink on the lighter side of it. But just to show you how two tones also make things pop out more.
How awesome is that? And you can also take out specific ones and pop them too. So it's like they're all different shapes and sizes. And if you wanted to put the birthday, the word birthday on there, you could always make use the banner. Hey, yep. she, April's reading my mind. <laughs> so let's say you didn't wanna, you wanted to move the happy up. You didn't wanna do as many of these cutouts or anything like that, or you could just put them on there and not ink them. This is the, the pennant banner. So just the one little banner. If you just wanted to get this thin cut too. I believe the thin cuts are sold together. Oh, these two are? Okay. These, these stamps you can buy Wow, separately. this is a really thick feel. That. Look at that. Wow. That's a good magnet. Yes, it is. The uh, thin cuts are sold together, I believe, and the stamps are sold separately, if you'd like. And then the stamps are bundled together, and then the thin cuts and stamps are bundled together. So what I'm doing is I'm going to cut out this little banner. I'm going to do it on the lighter side. So the lighter side is up. And you can see I can add that banner on here. <clears throat> and then I've got my birthday. So let's use my 2x2 two two block. My Bluebird ink. Okay, this is easy. And we're also remember to watch out for that little bit of ink on the edges. And look how cool that is. So this is a very tonal card. You can obviously bring some more pop color into it as well. But just to show you some different things that you can use with both of the thin cuts, the stamps, and everything like that. This stamp is definitely more of a celebrate birthday. Woohoo stamp. <laughs> this one is for everything else. So it's got some butterflies, rainbows, birds, bees, like love. There's thank you, just notes, hearts, you know, home, leaves, anything. So this can really be used to make... Any kind of card. This one's more for like celebration, congratulations, happy birthday. So, but combining them, how awesome is that? You know, let's say you're doing a happy birthday house party. You can put a little house in there to make this a little fun. Also, these background stamps can be used either over the square or under the square. So you can stamp a full circle in the stripes or the little... They look like light bulbs to me <laughs> um, or anything like that or the banners or something like that and have it under or you could even, that's so cool, it could just pop out. You can even do it, have some scrap paper underneath and stamp over into the little square. They're the perfect size to fit these squares so you can have some designs on the outside as well. So let's say you had this done in white daisy, take this in the colors of the rainbow down the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Just some cool ideas and some of the other stamps like these can be crossed into the, the square also yep so you can always do them in like the corner or something like that but that's really fun um we have another technique next week that we're going to use with the banner so i'm going to hold off on that for now but just to show you some different ways that you can use your banners but some other fun things that we will eventually show you down the road is you can actually make a shaker card with this too. And we've seen some that are so cool. So basically you would pop this whole edge. You'd have to put it around it like a shaker card, but you would put sequins in there and you'd, we'll show you how to actually cut, um, cut plastic. That was one, gonna be one of our techniques, but we found, got this in first, so we figured we'd show you this first. But cut some plastic and then you'll actually have a shaker card made with this and it looks so cool, so. But is there anything else you think that we should show right now with these? Well, with the happy birthday one, you could always put like happy 12th birthday because it has the numbers also. So There's just no TH. You have to write it. And, and with the congrats, you know, that's good for using with the other stamp also. Because you could do the congrats if it's a new home. A new job, or anything. Or anything. Anything, really. Also remember if you get anything stuck in your cuddle bug, use your poker, your piercing tool. Super easy to get it out, but this is very sharp, so make sure you don't hurt yourself. So we've got a lot of things now cut here. So you can see I've cut now in three different colors. So I've got my Carolina, my Pixie, and my Sweet Girl. Just to show you the variety of different things that you can use. I did forget, remember something we forgot. You can also take these 
and cut them down to any shape that you want. So if we're doing a three by three card, only a two by two square is gonna fit on a three by three card. So got my little, my little photo trimmer here. Gonna trim that down. And now I've got a little two by two. Ain't that cute. <laughs> So if you have something like this, also something very simple, if you don't have enough spots to write like happy birthday, you put things that would go along with a birthday, right? Right. This could be a gift card. On a yep, a gift card on a present. And you can switch it up with your designs too. So like I've got some pattern paper in here and I've got some plain paper as well. So just to make it a little bit different. But I also wanted to pull this one out and to show you that if you wanted to do any of these too, like let's say we wanted to just do butterflies for some reason. Flowers, because flowers go with butterflies, right? Yes, of course they do. So sometimes it's also fun to test colors. So I pulled out the pomegranate. I also have the pixie. Remember, both of these inks can be gotten in the, the uh, new styles. We just have the old styles of them. These are also a lot of fun to color in as well. These are great coloring stamps. But you can do something very simple like this. You don't have to have a different stamp in every single window. And I like the way the pomegranate looks on the pixie. Yeah, it looks very pretty. And remember, every time you cut this, you're gonna have the correct amount of circles. And they are one inch circles. If anybody is interested. <laughs> I didn't know that. That's cool. It's a good fact to know. So. So if you're looking to make one inch circles. Yeah. You'll have 12 right there. <laughs> so. Isn't that cool? Something. So I'm going to show you now. It's the gonna banner is going to be. I can make the banner whatever size I want. So let's say I want a tinier banner. I'm just going to go over a little bit. See? And then I got a tiny banner. Mm -hmm. And you can expand it. Uh, yes, you can expand showed, it. Mm -hmm. Which we showed you in one of our previous Technique yes. Tuesdays. Yes, 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 you can. Yeah, there we go. You can pop that up, you know. Now you don't even have to have these little butterflies. <laughs> Throw them down there instead. But just something super simple like that. You can even put the banner right in the middle. It doesn't have to be on the side. But it's just such a subtle way, and the way that the card works is mm -hmm. so nice. So on, t on Throw It Together Thursday, we're definitely going to play a little bit more with it being patterned, but a white background to show you how you can color and have fun with that kind of stuff. But I hope that you liked seeing what can be done with these stamps, these thin cuts. I think they're really, really versatile. I mean, look at this. this is, there's so many different options that you have here. And honestly, you don't even have to use these on a on a card. You can use this as a banner if you want for, you know, a page. Yes. And you could use this thin cut on a 12 by 12. Mm -hmm. you like could we showed use you. several of them. Yeah. To you can cut them like this. Mm -hmm. So you can have like strips and stuff. But yeah. So that is the Share the Joy bundle that we got. We remember we got the bundle kit. Um you can get the stamp bundle and you can also get the thin cuts together so and the stamp separately yes so make sure you check that out it is an awesome deal it is going on we believe until the end of july so or july until su supplies run out yes so july 30th or until they run out and trust me they are going very very quickly so get your hands on them asap and we'll see you next Tuesday. And that's Technique Tuesday. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed. We are in our volleyball apparel. Woo! Um, so that's what we do on Monday nights and Tuesday. Well, I do it on Tuesday nights. No, you do it Tuesday nights. I do nights too. Tuesdays too. So we play volleyball Mondays and Tuesdays. So we're but bringing Mondays you... is on the beach. Oh, yes. Well, yes. Tuesdays is on the beach for you too. Yeah. Oh, whatever. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. But we hope you guys are enjoying your Tuesday. 
and we will see you next Tuesday. Also, we have a few more spots left to open for our weekend, so make sure that you sign up and bring your friends along. We can't wait to have you for our weekend, and I guess that's it, right? Yes. Remember, July 31st is the end of the campaign. Yes. So, we'll see you next Tuesday. Bye. Bye. And look how cool this thin plate, thin, thin, thin cut is. I can't speak. Do we want to use the light side or the dark? I like, kind of like the light side. I think the light side would work. Or do we should we go to the dark side? <laughs> I feel like I'm in Star Wars. Any kind of stamp. This one is, I would say, more Any kind for. Of card. That's what I meant. <laughs> Any the dark side. You like the dark side. Anything like that, and you could switch.